In a couple of minutes, I will tell you why it is important to have two center midfielders in your team when playing the 4 1 2 2 1 tactics. But first, let's dive into the lone striker. The 4 1 2 2 1 formation is all about high intensity pressing and quick transition. And having a lone striker up top is key to making this tactics work like charm. Here is why. Firstly, having a lone striker allows for better penetration and fluidity in your attack. With only one player leading the line, it creates space for your attacking midfielders and wingers to make those killer runs into the box. This puts tremendous pressure on the opposition defense and opens up scoring opportunities. Secondly, a lone striker acts as the focal point of your team's attack. They become the target man, holding up play and distributing the ball to their supporting midfielders. This allows your team to maintain possession and control the tempo of the game. It also gives your midfielders more freedom to push forward and join the attack. Moreover, a lone striker is crucial in creating numerical superiority in the final third. By occupying the opposition center back, they create space for your attacking midfielders to exploit. This overload of players in advanced position puts immense pressure on the opposition's defense, making it easier for your team to score goals. Lastly, having a lone striker enhances your team's counter-pressing ability. When you lose possession, your lone striker becomes the first line of defense, immediately pressuring the opposition defenders and forcing them into making mistakes. This quick transition from attack to defense is what Jenny Pressing is all about. To sum it up, a lone striker in the form 1 2 1 Jenny Pressing tactics in an effort to include mobile is vital, is vital for penetration, fluidity, and creating numerical superiority. They act as the focal point of your team's attack, allowing for quick transition and counter pressing. So, if you want to dominate the game and score goals, make sure you have a lone striker leading the line. Now, let's move on to why. Having two center midfielders are crucial. So why is it so crucial to have two center midfielders in this formation? Well, let me break it down for you. In, let me break it down for you. In general pressing, the main idea is to put pressure on the opponents as soon as they regain possession. And having two center midfielders allows you to do just that. The center, the first center midfielder acts as the engine of your team. They are responsible for controlling the tempo of the game and distributing the ball to your attacking players. With their, uh, their passing skills and vision, they can launch quick counter attacks and exploit any gap in the opponent's defense. Now let's move on to this. To, let's move on to second. Now let's move on to the second center midfielder. This player is more defensively oriented. They provide cover for your defense when your fullbacks push forward and join the attack. Their main role is to win back possession quickly and disrupt the opponent's build-up play. With their tackling and interception ability, they can, they can regain the ball high up the pitch they, they, and keep pressure on. Having two center midfielders also gives you the flexibility of, in your attack. You can switch between, between a more offensive or defensive approach depending on the situation. If you are facing a tougher opponent, you can drop one of your center midfielders deeper and create and creating a solid defensive shield in front of your back line. In addition, having two center midfielders allows for better support for your attacking players. They can provide passing op options and create numerical superiority in midfield, making it easier to break down stubborn defenses. So there you have it, guys. The importance of having two center midfielders in the 4 one 2 one gen person tactics in FN20 Mobile is all about control, pressure, and flexibility. Trust me, implementing this strategy will take your team to new heights.